So today we're at Hebben and Sunderland Sea Cadets on the banks of the Tyne in, in South Tyneside um, and we're here to build the world's first floating ecosystem that's going into a tidal river in the UK. So the floating ecosystem is a thousand square foot man-made island. It's designed to, to float up and down on the Tyne. It's going to be installed at Newcastle Quayside um, and it's planted with native wildflowers. So it gives a space for, for, for nature in a very urban environment. Groundwork North Eastern Cumbria have been working on this project for over three years now. Um, it was originally designed as part of the Tyne Estuary Project, which is a, a partnership project that looks to involve key strategic bodies um, in improving the Tyne Estuary. Um, so we've been working with the Environment Agency, um, with Northumbrian Water, with NE1 Limited, so that we can finally install this great solution to, to some of the problems that we face in our urban rivers. Um, but we're also employing up to 38 young people and, and giving them the skills and experience to be able to go on and get long-term jobs. Um, it'll be planted with thousands of, 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 of native wild plants that are uh, adapted to live in this area. So they're specifically picked that they can tolerate the slightly saline conditions that we get in the, in the estuary here. Given time, they'll, they'll grow, they'll develop and they'll, 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 they'll obviously blossom. So in the summer months, you'll get a beautiful area of native wildflowers that provide a home for pollinators, so for butterflies and bees and other insects. Um, it'll be potentially for nesting areas. So the one that we've installed previously at Royal Keys Marina has had common tern nesting on it. It's had mute swan nesting on it. It's had mallard nesting on it. And that's only been in a year. Um, so we're hoping that we'll get similar things happening down there. Um, but what's also important is that underneath the water, the roots of the plants go down into the water and they float, kind of form like a little mini reef. Um, so that provides kind of habitat for, for marine life, so for, for bivalves and you know, basically seashells or the like to grow and it provides a, a shelter for fish as well. So animals moving up and down the river will be able to find some residence there and live and feed and, and hang out down there.